so many stories. And I'm here with Bach Clarabout Sally. And what's our song? The song is uh, Here Lies, or Here Lays, rather, a Modern Day Hero. And uh, we, we've got a lot of modern day heroes, people that have gone off to war, uh, people that have saved people's lives, uh, police officers that are losing their lives trying to protect the streets. And this is kind of a tribute to all of them because I don't think that any of them get the amount of recognition that they should have, uh, especially our vets um, coming back, you know, very maimed from war both mentally and physically, and uh, I, I, you just can't do enough for these people. So uh, I, this one, I, I originally I wrote it and then I rewrote it when I knew uh, Roland was coming over, and um, I like it better now yes. when I, with the re, with the rewrite. So you added, you added. You I, I, I added, I added uh, police officers and stuff to it, and. Mm -hmm. And uh, although, you know, we're not a military, they're not a military group, they're, they're paramilitary, sort of, because they, they, are. they have rank, um, you're, you know, uh, from the grunt on up to the chief. They do, it is, it is, yeah, yeah it is, it is a paramilitary, and, uh, and every, and they almost salute, almost, not quite. Yeah, we, But uh, you say, yes, chief. Well, that roll call is yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, sir. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I have to admit, I spent 32 and a half years as one of them. And mm -hmm. I was a roll call sergeant for a while. And oh, wow. <laughs> I, and I think if they'd have left me alone and tried not, and hadn't tried to make a, a detective out of me, I'd have probably stuck around a couple more years. But uh, I figured 32 and a half was long enough. You can only keep a horseshoe in your pocket so, so long. long. Yeah. And uh, at times we were changing, they still are. They still are, and uh, and you go through bad times and good times. Yes. It's like I, you know, I'm a Vietnam vet and I'm a hero now. Back when I was in Vietnam, or coming out of there, I was a piece of crap. Yeah, I, I, so uh, I under totally understand, and the. Men in blue get to sh get to experience, you know, our police force gets to experience that right this second in time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it, everything will turn around, and it and there will be a whole bunch of new light presented, and uh, and there will be an awakening. Now, there's within the within the within the police force itself, there's going to be a new awakening. Oh yeah, also. absolutely. Absolutely. It's like you can, you know, they got, they got, they got a little sloppy themselves. Yeah. And, and so you got to clean up everything, a little of everything. And uh, one of the things that I notice is the TV shows really aren't doing it much good. Yeah, I know. What? Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, they, they have enough action in, in a half hour show than you'll see in a, a month, you know, actually in, in reality. Um, when you were talking about when you're in Nam and you know your, their feelings towards you, when you were over there, I was at the University of Minnesota campus when they took over the ROTC, and uh, we're standing in line, just waiting, just kind of waiting at at the time, and a a, a sixty four Chevy come was coming down the street like this is a red one, and we looked. And here's one of our Explorer Scouts hanging onto that grill. You know how they had the holes in the grill? Hanging on there. And this guy's trying to shake him loose so he could run over him. Uh, about half a dozen of us guys grabbed the, you know, grabbed him and, and uh, got him stopped and stuff. And uh, it was just, it was just a, a, a bad time. And you guys were, that were over there. You were doing what you were supposed to do. You were fighting for your it country. Whether mean, whether we should have been there or not is irrelevant. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. And and that was there exactly because you said, and it was not in agreement with what, what the philosophy was. Yeah. And it didn't matter. It, you, you, when you when you make a commitment and you're lucky enough to be in a country, you gotta follow the leader that's there. Okay. 
mm -hmm. until you can change what's there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So oh, that's, that's what keeps our country free. That's what's happening to the men in blue right now. Yeah. Yes. Our policemen and it and it absolutely will change. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Well, anyway, this is Boxcar Bob, and the song that I have is Here Lays a Modern Day Hero. Mm -hmm.